beneficial. How do yeah. you feel? I feel really good. This is sort of the culmination of the last few years for a lot of athletes of training and dedication and I guess the, the dreams about being on that list of telling you you're going to the games and today's the today's the day and I'm I'm on it so I'm very, very happy. What are you most looking forward to? Um, I'm not. I don't know if I'm allowed to say the after party, but I think <laughs> can do. I can't. I can't wait to. To honestly, I think that for me, the last ten minutes before my first race or before every race is is my favourite time. The bit where you know you've you've done everything. There's nothing you can do. Now it's mono and mono, head to head. You've got to try and beat them, and that's that's the moment I live for. When you uh, when you visualise, yeah, and you look forward. I mean, what, what do you see? Tell me what's in your mind. In the games themselves, yeah. I just want to run well. I just really want to run well. I've been running well or running well I think in races for the last sort of 12 months now and this is like I said the culmination of all my efforts and now I should be in the best shape I, I ever have been I'm the most confident I ever have been the pressure is probably more than it ever has been which is what I, what I thrive on so I'm looking forward to just getting out of there and just giving my all coming off the track and knowing that I've, got, I've got nothing else left I was going to ask you that, what you got in you I mean is there, is there a personal best lurking and, and is it going to take that for you to achieve your dream if it does I'll, I should be ready to do it I think Every athlete wants to go into any race, being in the best shape they can. And that obviously, if that equates to personal bests or the fastest last 200 metres that you've ever run, sort of that sort of thing, that's what I need to be ready for to, uh, to progress as far, as far as I want to progress. When you look at some of the 800 metres uh, of yesteryear, I mean, who have yeah. you been most impressed with and who do you take a little bit from and think, yeah, I'm going to try and apply that to my race? I think it's easy to look back at British history now and, and pick things from different athletes, not just the ones. So you've got the, the composure of Sebastian Coe, you've got the, the flair of Steve Ovet, and you've got the strength of Steve Cram. So I don't look at any one particular and say, I want to be them, I want to be the best bit of each one. So that, that's what I aim for. Well, domestically, you're, you're pretty much the man to be at the moment. I mean, mm. was that always your thinking? You needed to kind of be the, in the best shape possible coming in to the Olympic Games, be the best in the country in order to give yourself half a chance of it coming to fruition? Yeah, definitely. I think every championships, domestically or internationally, you want to be the best. Um, to be the best internationally, you, you first of all need to be the best domestically. And we've had a great year for men's 800 and women's 800 this year where it's been really strong. We've had some people running, running some world-class times. So I know that the better we get domestically, and if I'm still at the top, the better I'm going to get internationally. So yeah, the, f the first aim this year was to be domestic number one, yeah. Globally, who do you look at and think, yeah, I need to beat him? Everybody. I look at everybody thinking I need to beat them. No, no particular standout athlete? Um, I think you look at your, your David Radishas and your maybe uh, Abadak, uh, Khakis, the uh, Sudanese athletes that are running fast. They're obviously running world records. And obviously Radish has actually proved himself in the World Champs. She managed to win the World Champs, which hasn't been done for a long time for the world record holder. So you're looking at them thinking I need to beat them, but every day I'm looking at the person next to me or the person in front of me, the person behind me, saying I want to beat you. Whether it's David Radisha or whether it's, like I said, one of my domestic rivals, it's exactly the same feeling for me. Any pre-race rituals that you go through that no one knows about? That <laughs> you know you're going to divulge at the moment. Uh, not, I haven't got too many rituals actually. I'm, I'm pretty no strange uh, habits. Pretty normal. The food you got to eat. Chicken, man, chicken. I, I love, I love chicken. So if Nando's, if you're watching and you wanna, you wanna chuck me some chicken my way, I'll, I'll be more than grateful. You confident? I missed my last question. You confident you've done everything you can, literally going? Um, this? not yet, not just yet. I'm confident that I'm in great shape now, and I've still got three or four weeks more training to go before the games. So I'm in good shape now, and I'm gonna hopefully get better. So I'm gonna should hopefully be in great shape. What would it mean to the Asaji clan if you came through, <laughs> and if you left with a medal? If I left a, left a medal, I think it would mean a lot to the Asaji clan and every clan that I've ever been associated with. I think um, I'm very proud of my family and the things they've done and I've got some really close friends. I'm, I'm glad they're in my life. So all I want to do is make them proud and I'll buy my mama a house. That's all I want to do. So yeah. Thanks, Ethan. Cheers. Thank you very much. Right.